I wish you luck. Same to you. You deserved a lot more than me. She used to tell me when she tucked me in that angels were watching over us. It's all okay. Angels are watching over you. you never told me that. Who wants to tell? She was wrong. It's one of the perks of the job, Sam. We don't have to operate on faith. We can know for sure. Don't you want to know for sure? But really, the thing is, no one can save you. What I've been telling you. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, no one can save you because you don't want to be saved. I mean, how can you care so little about yourself? What's wrong with you? Go call you on, smart ass. But you can't lie to me. I know the truth. I know how dead you are inside, how worthless you feel. I know how you look into a mirror and hate what you see. Talk about low self-esteem. Then again, I guess it's not much of a life worth saving. Right? I mean, after all, you got nothing outside of Sam. You are nothing. It's not true. No. What are the things that you want? No, all there is is watch out for Sammy. Look after your little brother, boy. Who are you? Estia. I'm an angel of the Lord. There's no such thing. This is your problem, Dean. You have no faith. Some angel you are. Look, pal, I'm not buying what you're selling, so who are you really? I told you. And why would an angel rescue me from hell? Good things do happen, Dean. Not in my experience. What's the matter? You don't think you deserve to be saved. But this is becoming less and less about faith and more and more about proof. Proof? Yes. Proof that there's a God out there that actually gives a crap about me personally? I'm sorry, but I'm not buying it. Because why me? If there is a God out there, why would he give a crap about me? I mean, I've saved some people, okay? I figured that made up for the for the stealing and the, and the ditching chicks. But why do I deserve to get saved? I'm just a regular guy. Apparently, you're a regular guy that's important to the man upstairs. 